And here we have everything needed for this activity, our checks mix, a pencil, and the recording sheet. I'm gonna start by opening up my bag of checks mix and laying out all the pieces. I'm gonna be using this piece of paper to kind of keep all my snack mix together. And I'm gonna be thinking about how many different sets that I can make with the snack mix pieces. I'm gonna start by sorting my snack mix into piles of different types of crackers or cereal bits. And I'm really gonna spread them out and maybe see what similar elements I have in my snack mix pieces. Get all these over here those over there, put aside any little broken pieces and get them all, whoops, I want those over there and get them all ready to take a look at sets. Okay, let's take a look at our recording sheet and think about how we wanna group these. First way I'm going to sort them is I'm gonna think about shape. And I want all of the triangles in my set. So I'm going to write all the triangles as kind of the rule for my first set. You can choose to sort them a different way, or you can do triangles also. So I'm counting up triangles. I see that I have four. Next, staying with the idea of shape, I'm going to make a set of all the squares. As I count, this is a pretty big set, so I'm going to write all the squares As I count, think about how you might sort yours. When you're counting your sets, you can practice different ways of counting them too. I'm counting these by twos to make it go a little bit faster. I included pretzel in here because it is also square. So it definitely fit as a part of this set. Here we go, quite a few squares here. Wow, all right, I'm leaving behind the little bits and pieces and I've got my square pretzel. That was 73 pieces total in all just the squares. Next, I'm gonna stick with shape and take a look at all the circles. That's much faster. I only have four. And then I'm going to call these longs. I'm going to make a set of all the longs. And I only had three of these. Looking back at my set of squares with 73 pieces in it, I decided I wanted to add another category of just orange squares. Because I've got these orange squares and then I've got these like brown squares. These are the orange squares I'm talking about. So that leaves out the wheat flavored ones and the pretzel square. So I'm going to count up just my orange squares. Sets are flexible like this. You can sort them one way to include more elements and then change the rule to perhaps include less elements. All right, I've got my orange squares, just the orange ones. Count those up and I have still quite a few, but not nearly as many as when we did all the squares. 
How many do we have? In this set, we've got 47. Now, even though I am out of blanks, I want to do one more way of sorting these into another set. I'm going to do pretzels only as a set. So I've got any kind of pretzel, whether it's a circle or a square, and I count those up, and I get all the pretzels, and I have five. So this is the basics of how sets work. Excellent job. Well, I hope that you enjoyed our activity on Tasty Chex Mix sets. Sets are a great way to make comparisons and figure out what we have more or less of. I hope this activity got you thinking about what other objects you can sort into sets. Bye for now.